And here is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday. It's the 16th of June, 2021. Today is Bloomsday, celebrating that day in 1904 that James Joyce wrote his novel Ulysses about Leopold Bloom, the protagonist who lives an ordinary day in Dublin. He buys kidneys at the butcher's, serves his wife Molly breakfast in bed, he reads the mail, visits the outhouse, goes to a funeral in the morning, runs an errand at the drugstore, inadvertently gives a man a winning tip about a racehorse, he bumps into an old girlfriend, he stops off for a sandwich and a glass of wine, helps a blind man across the street, ducks into a museum to avoid his wife's lover, Gets into an argument at Barney Kiernan's pub, ogles a young woman at the beach, and pays a hospital visit to a woman in the throes of childbirth. Spends the evening in a red-light district with young Stephen Dedalus, for whom Mr. Bloom feels a paternal connection and sees the young man home safely. And finally, in the wee hours, he comes back home to Molly. It's the birthday of Joyce Carol Oates, born in Lockport, New York, 1938, the author of more than 70 books, including Because It Is Bitter and Because It Is My Heart and We Were the Mulvaney's. Joyce Carol Oates, who said, I think all art comes out of conflict. When I write, I am always looking for the dramatic kernel of an event, the junctures of people's lives when they go in one direction and not another. It was on this day in 1858, Abraham Lincoln, running for the Senate, gave a speech in Springfield, Illinois, urging that the issue of slavery be resolved once and for all, a speech in which he said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And it's the birthday of the historian Lucy Davidovich, born in New York City, 1915. Parents, Polish immigrants, raised their daughters as secular Jews. Davidovich didn't attend a Jewish service until she was in her 20s. But with the rise of the Nazis in Germany, she decided to focus on Jewish history studied in Poland at the Institute for Jewish Research just before the Nazis invaded Poland, came back to this country, and wrote numerous books about the Holocaust, including The War Against the Jews, which came out in 1975. Lucy Davidovich wrote, Some people think that the professional historian's personal commitments to his people, his country, his religion, his language undermine his professional objectivity. Not so, as long as historians respect the integrity of their sources and adhere strictly to the principles of sound scholarship. Personal commitments do not distort, but instead they enrich historical writing. Here's a poem for today by Gerard Manley Hopkins entitled Spring. Nothing is so beautiful as spring when weeds in wheels shoot long and lovely and lush. Thrushes' eggs look little low heavens and thrush through the echoing timber does so. Rinse and ring the ear, it strikes like lightnings to hear him sing. The glassy pear tree leaves and blooms, they brush the descending blue. That blue is all in a rush with richness, the racing lambs too have fair their fling. What is all this juice and all this joy, a strain of the earth's sweet being in the beginning in Eden garden, have, get, before it cloy, before it cloud, Christ, Lord, and sour with sinning, innocent mind and mayday and girl and boy, most, O maid's child, thy choice and worthy the winning. Spring by Gerard Manley Hopkins. That's the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, June the 16th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 